Mahdi is a not-for-profit organization, and it's composed right now mostly of uh, faculty, students, and alumni from the University of Virginia. Uh, we also work in combination with uh, faculty and students from the University of Benda in Limpopo Province, South Africa, uh, as well as in partnership with communities. For example, our filters and our Mahdi drops uh, are being made by a cooperative of potters in Limpopo Province called the Mukundeni Pottery Cooperative. It's a cooperative of about 45 women potters. So collectively, we call all these people pure Mahdi. So the Mahdi drop is one of our newest inventions. Uh, we've been testing this in the laboratory for about a year. We're very excited about it. It's a very simple device. It's just a ceramic disc uh, that's porous, and it's been impregnated with silver and or copper. And what we do is, to use this, you just drop it in a water container. In the developing world, people store their water in their home, and it may become contaminated with pathogenic microorganisms. The Mahdi drop is very simple. You drop it in the water container, and it purifies the water. One Mahdi drop, we believe, lasts for about six months, and we think it only costs a few dollars to produce and sell. So this is our Mahdi filter, um, and this is designed to purify water uh, by filtration. And what's neat about this device is that it's made from low-cost materials, clay, water, and sawdust, and a very small amount of silver. And basically, we can put this in a larger plastic container, pour untreated water in through it, and it gradually percolates through the filter and is purified by filtration and also by chemical disinfection by the small amount of silver nanoparticles that are in the filter. We're working in Limpopo province to teach local potters how to make these filters and make these Mahdi drops. Uh, and then it becomes a source of local enterprise for the potters. They can actually benefit economically from the production and sale of the Mahdi filters and the Mahdi drops.